Hey guys, this is just part two of my enclosure build for my pixel controller for uh, my outside enclosure. Uh, just give you a quick review again of the proposed layout that I was going to run. So we have the MDF board in there. I was going to run a couple of the 12 volt power supplies stacked up like such. One there and one there, and I'll show you probably in the next video how I mount them up. So as part of that, I want to be able to feed my 240 volt into my controller box. So I'm going to utilize a larger gland for that. So this is a 16 mil gland, which requires a larger hole. So I've just marked up on the inside here where I'm going to drill that through in a minute. Then we are going to mount, or I'm going to mount, the four string receiver boards. Just down closer to it's the front edge of the uh, enclosure box. Um, so thus we'll have the pigtails and the outputs from the receiver boards which will come through and obviously we will run the same of the 12 mil cable glands for them which require a 12 mil hole. And then also we've got to place my vents. So we've got one vent going on the back, and one on the side. Now these vents are just a, I think they say it's a 60 mil vent or something like that. I'll provide the link um, bottom. It's just a hide box vent. They adjust for the hole size. I use a 64 mil hole saw for these. So it's just that 63 on the threaded part. Now I didn't go out and buy an expensive hole saw kit or anything like that um, to mount to drill the holes. I just purchased a cheap craft right set, uh, which was from Bunnings, which was relatively cheap, I think. Um, and it had the 64 mil. It's only drilling into plastic, so it doesn't have to be any high quality. Um, so we'll drill in through in a minute and go from there. So. So guys, this is just um, how I drill the holes for the vents, nothing um, special, just one thing of mine, I just have to be mindful on the side vent here, because it's going to be under the latch, just to give enough uh, clearance room there, to be able to still break the latch, okay, and also on the inside of the box we have this indent, this mould marking, which is just just there, so we had to make sure that the, the backing nut wasn't going to fail on that when we tried to tighten it up. So we just like anything, you sort of mark it out, see what's going to go first. So what do I do with these uh, hole vents? Hopefully you can see it. Okay, he's just put the small, just put the, the pilot hole through. Just makes it a bit easier. So this, this is only plastic, so you probably don't need to. And then just go to the 64 mil hole saw and just drill it nice and slow into the plastic and if you reduce the speed a bit it um, stops it burring so much so it leaves it a cleaner hole so hopefully we can get through this nice and even after it's drilled I found I'll uh, just grab a, uh, a knife just to run around just to clean a lot of that um, edging off just makes a nice cleaner hole so we'll now fill the hole for the back vent I've still marked this one on the inside so I'll just have to drill a hole through to transfer that back again with a smaller hole Another drill. Like the back vent, it's not as critical. Um, it's a nice flat surface. There's nothing that can be mounted anywhere. I just wanted to put it near the uh, hole. 
means for the power supplies. So we'll just use this as a bit of a guide hole. We can close the box back up. And then go to our larger. Also, making sure it's in shot here. It's just got a bit of a burr, a bit of a swarf left over from when it's sort of cut through, probably because it's a cheap pulse off. But you just get there with the Stanley knife. So it's just to clean it up quite easily. And then we've got the pulse for the vent. Quite so far. Um, so I'll just locate in. Just for example, I'll clean that hole up a little bit more. Make sure it's not filling. And then we can mount. Think like such. Nice and straightforward. Uh, it's down, so hopefully we've kept the rain away. So the next holes I need to drill. Uh, for the next hole will be for the 240 volt inlet to the power supplies. Um, we we'll use a larger 16 mil gland, as I mentioned before, on them. Uh, so it needs a 16 mil hole. Uh, for these, I just use a woodwork bit. Speedball. I just bought it again, another cheap one from Bunnings, nothing special, just a 16mm one. Quite a few of these to build, so. Uh, so I found again with these with these uh, woodworking bits, you just take it nice and slow and it seems to leave a, a reasonable hole. So I had our 240 volt, which will be, again, my mistake. On the inside, I marked it on the inside, so I'm going to have to put a small little pile of hole so I can drill from the outside, it's a bit easier. So, this would be for the 240 volt land. See, we need the 16 mil bit. So the best I can without blocking the view. And I'll take it nice and slow with the woodworking bit into plastic, it seems to cut quite well. With a nice nice finish for the gland. And then we have glands for all those pigtails. Now I've in the garden in now I've laid them out because my receiver boards are going to be at the front edge here. So here's my outputs for my pigtails. So that'll be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And also I'm gonna have some data coming in for each one of those uh, receiver boards. So these will just be 12 mils. I'll just space them at 30 mil. You probably get them a bit closer if you had to get some more. But um, I've said I've only got four on here, four on here. Uh, I decided to position them there. Uh, we'll see where people um, have mounted, laid up here and eight there and staggered them a bit. But I said I've only got four and four to do. So we'll just straight in with the 12 mil uh, woodworking hole saw and um, go from there. So it's just a woodworking bit, nothing special. Put him in there so you can probably see what's going on. So I just take it nice and slow. This one. So 
Nein. Right. Oh, this is for the other side of the board. Two daughters. One. Two. All done. So it'll go just through and tidy, tidy cut the leaves up with the Stanley knife. Just to get rid of some of those edges. But, um, that should seal up okay. With those cable blades. Am I okay? So now we end up with all the holes that I need for my enclosure box. So the next part will be uh, mounting up the power supplies. So here we go.